If your firm wants to output higher realism in their SketchUp 3D models for projects, you're going to need to assign your own SketchUp component trees and shrubs to your land effects plants. First, you're going to need to save your components into the appropriate spot. That's the LandFX SketchUp Library folder, and you can set that location through the settings in the SketchUp extension for LandFX. I've set my folder to My Documents on this standalone installation. If you're working with LandFX on a server, you should locate this folder on your server and direct all computers with the LandFX SketchUp connection to that same folder. Now, just save your components into that library folder. You can use the folders provided or create your own directory to separate out your files. There are many sources online for highly realistic trees. Most cost money for commercial use. When looking for a good source, remember that there is always a trade-off between realism and the file size. Consider what your computer hardware can handle. The best sources will provide the files in SketchUp format already. Otherwise, you'll need to edit the files to create a proper SketchUp component. Also, check the files to make sure that the blue axis is pointing up and that the axes are in the center of the trunk. With your files saved, you can start assigning the components to your plants. You'll need to assign the components in SketchUp itself after you've exported the plants from AutoCAD. Go to the Import the Plants from CAD tool, click on the plant symbol, then click Browse on the Select Symbol window to locate your file. Sometimes you may not see the image thumbnail, but it's still assigned. If you've moved over to our cloud-based data system, you'll now be able to see your custom symbol assignments back in AutoCAD immediately. If you're not on the cloud-based data, you won't see them in AutoCAD until you re-export from SketchUp. You can now save the plant with the custom component to a template so that all future projects that use this plant also automatically pull your saved component. This has been another power tip for you, the user, making complex visuals a little easier with land effects.